It's time for another edition of Slimer Story Time. Hi guys, Kooky the Nuevo Ghostbusters here with another episode of Slimer Story Time. Let's see what story Slimer's picked out for us today. Penny Penny. That seems a little dark and morbid given that Thanksgiving was not that long ago, but Slimer picks the books, not us. Penny Penny. One day, Henny Penny went in the woods to search for nuts. A big acorn fell from a tree and hit her feathered head. Cluck, 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 squawked poor Henny Penny. Oh, goodness, the sky's a fallen, surely. I must go tell the king. So she hurried along. In a little while, she met Ducky Lucky. Quack, quack, called Ducky Lucky. Good morning, Henny Penny. Where are you going this fine day? Oh, dear me, Ducky Lucky, cried Henny Penny. I was in the woods gathering nuts, and a piece of the sky fell on my feathered head. I'm going to tell the king the sky's a falling. Oh, what a dreadful thing, quack, quack, exclaimed Ducky Lucky. May I come along with you? Certainly, said Henny Penny. We'll both go and tell the king. So they hurried along, and whom should they meet but Goosey Lucy? Honk honk, called Goosey Lucy. Where are the two of you going this fine day? Oh dear me, Goosey Lucy, cried Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny was in the woods gathering nuts, and a piece of the sky fell upon her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the kings the sky's a-falling. Oh, what a dreadful thing, honk honk, exclaimed Goosey Lucy. May I come along with you? Certainly, said Ducky Lucky. All three of us will go and tell the king. So they hurried along, and whom should they meet but Gander Lander. Swonk swonk, called Gander Lander. Where are the three of you going this fine day? Oh dear me, Gander Lander, cried Goosey Lucy. Henny Penny was in the woods gathering nuts, and a piece of the sky fell upon her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the king the sky's a-falling. Oh, what a dreadful thing, squonk, 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 exclaimed Gander Lander. May I come along with you? Certainly, said Goosey Lucy. All four of us will go and tell the king. So they hurried along, and whom should they meet but Turkey Lurkey? Gobble, gobble, said Turkey Lurkey, stretching out his long neck. Where are the four of you going this fine day? Oh, dearie me, Turkey Lurkey, cried Grand Gander Lander. Penny Penny was in the woods gathering nuts, and a piece of the sky fell upon her head, her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the king the sky's a-falling. Oh, what a dreadful thing, Gobble Gobble, exclaimed Turkey Lurkey. May I come along with you? Certainly, said Gander Lander. All five of us will go and tell the king. So they hurried along, and whom should they meet? But Foxy Loxy. Good morning to you, my pretty friends, called Foxy Loxy, smiling sly upon them all. Where are the five of you going this fine day? Oh dear me, Foxy Loxy, cried Turkey Lurkey. Penny Penny was in the woods gathering nuts, and a piece of the sky fell upon her feathered head. We're on our way to tell the king the sky's a-falling. Oh, what a dreadful thing, exclaimed Foxy Loxy. But he smiled as though it might not be such a dreadful thing after all. Was Henny Penny standing near the big oak tree at the edge of the woods, may I ask? That was just the place, cried Henny Penny. I thought so, said Foxy Loxy. I was there yesterday, and I thought the sky looked rather weak. The king should know about it. Are you sure that you know the way to the palace? The five friends all looked at one another and shook their heads. Then I shall lead you to it, said Foxy Loxy and he licked his lips hungrily. Just follow me, and we'll all go and tell the king the sky's a falling. So Foxy Loxy led the way, 
and they soon came to a big hole that went beneath the rocks of a tree. Now this was really the door to Foxy Loxy's den, but he smiled and said, This is a short way to the king's palace. I shall go in first, and you must follow me one at one, one at a time. Then you will be in the presence of the king to tell him the skies are falling. Penny Penny and her friends promised to do just as the, that sly Foxy Luxy said, and he led the way into his burrow. There he waited, thinking of what a fine dinner Henny Penny and her friends would make. Henny Penny started toward the big hole. Then all at once she remembered something. Oh, goodness me, she cried. I have forgotten to lay my eggs, my egg today. There are enough for about, of you to go and tell the king without me. Away went Henny Penny as fast as she could go. Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and Gander Lander and Turkey Lurkey watched her go. Foxy Luxy knows the way to the king's palace, said Goosey Lucy. Let him tell the king the skies are falling. I have my work to do and I must go back to it at once. So must we, the others, said the others, and away they scurried. Foxy Loxy waited hungrily for Henny Penny and her friends to come. After a while, the, he came out to look for them. But they were gone, every one of them. Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, Gander Lander, and Turkey Lurkey. So it was that Foxy Loxy had to go without his fine dinner. And the king never was told that the sky was falling. Well, that was almost a very tragic ending for Henny Penny and her friends, but another good read this fine day, Slimer. Can't wait to see what you show us next time. For the Nuevo Ghostbusters, I'm Coogie, that's Slimer, and this has been another edition of Slimer's Storytime. Thanks for joining us.